they don't only turn left, okay? It is not just left turns. Are you listening? It's not just left turns. I'm sick of the haters. Hello and welcome. We're here today at Charlotte Motor Speedway, America's home for racing, where the wind and the traffic never stop. We're here to talk about how to watch a NASCAR race. Let's address one thing first. It's the notion that NASCARs only turn left, and how hard could that be? Well, three to six times a year, that's not true. In fact, there are road courses on the NASCAR circuit. They include Sonoma, Watkins Glen, Road America, the Charlotte Roval, the Daytona Road Course. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say, if you were to ask fans of any other major racing series why they love it so much, it would have nothing to do with which way the car turns. The Kentucky Derby, for years, has only turned left. In fact, all of horse racing only turns left, and nobody seems to mind. How about the Olympics? Those racers only turn left. Nobody seems to mind that either. Listen, I know what comes next. Yeah, but the Kentucky Derby, it's the fastest two minutes in sports, not the longest three hours of my life. Yeah, that might be true, but let's look at what are arguably the three most famous motorsport events in the world. The Le Mans 24 Hours, the Monaco Grand Prix, and the Indianapolis 500. The Le Mans 24 Hours is one of the most famous races in the world. And how long does it last? You guessed it, 24 hours. And I have a little secret about Le Mans too. Drivers in the Le Mans circuit almost exclusively turn right, with one exception of a corner. And you know what they call that exception of a corner? Indianapolis. Because since 1909, the Indy 500 has turned left for three hours, and people call it the greatest motorsport spectacle in the world. You tell me. And Monaco? Well, at least an oval track allows you to see the whole track at one time. At Monaco, maybe you could rent a boat and be in the harbor and maybe, maybe see half the track. Maybe you could get a seat somewhere along the circuit and see one or possibly two turns, maybe even a straight. At least an oval track allows you to see the whole picture, all at one time. I feel that the other elephant in the room we need to address is that NASCAR is a southern sport for southerners. Yes, it's true that its heritage is in the back hills of North Carolina and running moonshine during the days of Prohibition, but it's grown to be so much more than that. It's the largest motorsport series in the United States today. It can't be just a southern sport for the good old boys from Dixie. Not to mention oval track racing? That's been going on a lot longer than NASCAR, and a lot further than the southern United States. But to prove my point, let's look back 30 years at all the champions. Let's see, who do we have here? Uh, some of these are multiple time winners, but, uh, well, anyway, we're only gonna count the ones in the last 30 years. Dale Earnhardt, from North Carolina, four times. Okay, one point for the haters. Uh, Alan Kolwicki from Wisconsin. Jeff Gordon, four-time champion in the last 30 years uh, from California. Terry Labonte from Texas. Is Texas really part of the South? Oh, that's, a, that's an argument for another day. Uh, you gotta be kidding me. Dale Jarrett, North Carolina, okay. And we get into a pretty good streak here. Tony Stewart, three-time champion, Indiana. Uh, Matt Kenseth, Wisconsin. Kurt Busch from Nevada. Jimmy Johnson, seven-time champion from California. Uh, Brad Keselowski, he's from Michigan. Kevin Harvick, he's from California. Uh, Kyle Busch, two-time champion, he's from Nevada. Brother of Kurt Busch. Uh, Martin Truex Jr., he's from New Jersey, and Joey Logano from Connecticut. So, the vast majority of the champions in the last 30 years aren't from the South. Listen, I'm just saying, that's... So obviously there's the driver, and then talking to the driver during the race uh, are, are really only two people. There's the crew chief, and then there's the spotter. The crew chief is the mastermind of the whole at-track operation. He's 
responsible for setting up the car, making all of, all of the in-race decisions. He'll talk about uh, statistics, he'll talk about the car, whether it's running hot, uh, whether you know tire pressures are good or bad. There's a lot of chatter that goes on between the driver and the crew chief as to the state of the car. All right, the crew chief is also the one who calls for pit stops. Next is the spotter. And arguably NASCAR has the most wheel-to-wheel -wheel action of, of any major racing series. More than F1, more than IndyCar, and, and that's by nature of what the cars are. They have fenders, they can rub, they can bump without creating serious damage to the car. So a spotter is there to call the wheel-to-wheel -wheel action for the driver. He'll tell them how far back a competitor is or how far ahead they are. Uh, and typically they'll refer to it in car lengths. They'll say two back, one back. And then they'll say when the, when the other car approaches, uh, he'll say door, meaning you know, the driver's at your door. Is, you know, he's in a blind spot or, or he'll say bumper. So typically you'll hear something like door, bumper, clear, clear, clear. And that means the driver can, the driver whom he's talking to can take the position. It means that if he moves up into the lane, into the path of the other car, he's not gonna spin himself out or, or spin the other driver out. Majority out the back, just those two together up top. KB is on you. They're separated up top now. Wide open in front of Martin. Off of you by half. You're clear. You're clear. Off you by quarter. Off you four car seven. Yep. Off you by half. Off you by one. Still outside. Four cars on him. Half to the one. Can't get to you. Four car is on him pushing. It's Denny Hamlin's spotter. Still off of you by half. Still outside. You're clear. Big run through the middle with the nine. Half back. Outside. Outside. One car coming to your bumper now. Tighten it up. So the spotter sits on top of the press box and he has constant contact with the driver, telling the driver where he is in relation to the other car. Uh, if you download the uh, Handy Dandy NASCAR app, you can actually listen to this during the race. At nearly 200 miles an hour for a car that weighs 3,300 pounds, uh, any tap of the bumper or the fender or anything has serious implications, especially when the aerodynamics are involved and spinning out is such a possibility. So the spotter is there to ensure that that, that wheel to wheel action happens in a way that doesn't uh, damage or hurt his driver's position. Next up is the pit crew. Current rules are five people over the wall at a time. You'll have two tire changers, you'll have a tire carrier, you'll have the jack man, and the gas man. Everybody except the gas man run to the passenger side of the car. The jack man will jack the car up. You'll have the tire changers undo all five lug nuts. The tire carrier in the back will pull the back wheel off. The jack man will pull the front wheel off. They will replace those wheels where the tire changer will then redo all of the lug nuts. The whole thing then moves around to the other side of the car where the gas man has already filled one tank of gas. He has taken a step back while the whole circus moves to the driver's side. Once they're in place, he will have another can of fuel that will then be used to, to finish the car off. Uh, the, the ideal pit stop really couldn't be faster than about 12 seconds and that would be in a, a lightning fast. A typical pit stop is in the 13 to 14 second range. So that's how a team operates at the track, but team actually can mean two things in NASCAR. There are the teams, in other words, the team owner, and the team owner can field up to four cars in the NASCAR Cup Series. So Rick Hendrick, for example, fields four cars. Hendrick Motorsports fields four cars in the NASCAR Cup Series. And then each of those is a team unto itself with all of the necessary crew chief spotters and pit crew members as part of that team. Let's take a look at the major drivers and their teams in the sport today. Rick Hendricks is arguably one of the biggest names in NASCAR today. He fields a four-car team of Chase Elliott in the 9, William Byron in the 24, 
Jimmy Johnson, seven-time champion in the 48, and Alex Bowman in the 88. Jimmy Johnson is arguably the best NASCAR driver in history, if not one of the best. He's a seven-time champion, including five in a row from 2006 to 2010. Gene Haas, yet another prolific name in the motorsports industry. He actually fields an F1 team as well as a NASCAR Cup team. In 2008, he sold 50% of that NASCAR Cup team to NASCAR Cup champion Tony Stewart. Today, they field four cars in the NASCAR Cup Series. Drivers are Kevin Harvick, Eric Almirola, Clint Boyer, and Cole Custer. Joe Gibbs didn't start out as a race team owner. In fact, he's a three-time Super Bowl champion with that team from Washington, the one that's maroon and yellow, whatever they're called these days. Joe Gibbs Racing is a four-car team. The 11, driven by Denny Hamlin. The 18, driven by Kyle Busch. The 19, driven by Martin Truex Jr. And the 20, currently driven by Eric Jones. Next year, it will be driven by Christopher Bell. Roger Penske. They don't call him the captain for nothing. In fact, he was in the news recently. He bought the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. He bought the entire Indy Racing League. Turns out he also fields some NASCAR teams and some IMSA teams. In NASCAR, he has three drivers in the Cup Series. Brad Keselowski drives the number two, Joey Logano the 22, and Ryan Blaney drives the 12. Now, Joey Logano and Brad Keselowski They've been involved in some incidents on the track and it's earned them something of a reputation. Is it deserved? We'll leave that up to you. That famed Chevrolet team, Richard Childress Racing, home to the intimidator himself, Dale Earnhardt, who won six of his seven NASCAR championships with this team. Richard Childress was a former NASCAR driver. And today, Tyler Reddick and Austin Dillon call this shop home. Tyler Reddick was a 2018 and 2019 Xfinity champion, Austin Dillon, the grandson of Ch Richard Childress himself, a 2018 Daytona 500 champion. If you lived through 2020 and you don't know the name of Darrell Wallace Jr., aka Bubba, you may be living under a rock. He is the sole driver for the Richard Petty Motorsports team. Jack Roush is one of the oldest names in racing. His influence can be found throughout the industry. Originally, he was an engine builder, and with a master's degree in scientific mathematics, you could see why. He's had significant success throughout the years, not just in NASCAR. But today, he fields a two-car team. Drivers are Ryan Newman and Chris Buescher. And his past with Ford is well-storied. Ford even builds a Mustang with his name on it. Chip Ganassi himself is a former driver. In fact, he runs a prolific IndyCar program as well. Today he fields two cars in the NASCAR Cup Series, Kurt Busch in the number one, and Matt Kenseth in the number 42. Wood Brothers Racing currently fields a single car in the NASCAR Cup Series, the number 21 car driven by Matt DiBenedetto. All right, so then there's the race itself, but the race is almost always a function The race is almost always, the length of the race is almost always a function of the total miles of the race divided by the length of the track. It's not going to be a timed event, it's going to be a, uh, how's it going? Good, how are you? They don't like me standing in front of this building. Just look, just. Okay, security, security officer rolls up, said, oh, people, People in the tower there, they, uh, they called in, wanted to know what media outlet you were with. Do I look like I'm a w with a media outlet? I think we all know the answer to that question. They're kicking us out. Because oh. someone in Yon Tower over there thought he should be, the guy says, the guy says, uh, what media outlet are you with? I'm like, uh, Myself. me and my four YouTube subscribers? <laughs> so what do you want me to do? <laughs> and he gives me the number to call straight to voicemail of course so, anyway okay, we're getting away. we're getting kicked out
we just missed. So let me just go ahead and tell you what I was gonna tell you in front of the sign because uh, that didn't work out. Wood Brothers, they're a pretty historic team. They've had a lot of famous names in NASCAR history drive for them. Junior Johnson, Cale Yarborough, David Pearson, Million Dollar Bill Elliott, Buddy Baker, they had a whole lot of names, Kyle Petty, who else? Uh, Dale Jarrett, Neil Bonnet. Okay, that's what I was gonna tell you when I was standing out there, but uh, well, you can see that didn't work out. So, on to the next. 